KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Good morning. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February 16th, 2019. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. We have showers that will be coming to an end soon over central Alabama, but rain comes back on Sunday and will not leave for a good while, which could lead to some flooding issues. We'll get to that in a moment. Radar at 6.56 this morning showed just a few scattered showers over the south and southeastern parts of central Alabama, mainly stretching from just east of Selma up through Prattville and over to Alexander City and just south of Roanoke. This activity is moving to the east-southeast and should be out of the area by later this morning. Temperatures were in the mid-40s to the lower 60s across central Alabama at that time. Birmingham was at 49 degrees while Montgomery was at 64 degrees as the warm spot. Coleman and Haleyville were tied as the cool spots at 39 degrees. Just taking a quick look at the day one outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, we see that there are no severe weather risk out there for today. The only thunderstorm activity expected throughout the day will be in the western parts of California and up into Oregon. And a quick look at the rainfall totals for the next seven days showing us that there will be plenty of rain over the southeast, but the good news is that the projected totals have come down a little. Still, we could see amounts totaling from one inch in the southeastern corner of central Alabama to as high as over seven inches in the northern parts of the area. Parts of Jackson and DeKalb counties in the northeast corner of the state could see totals reaching eight to nine inches by next Saturday morning. So for today, we have a center of low pressure that will be over the northeastern corner of Georgia at midday, with showers diminishing over central Alabama before the noon hour. Skies will actually clear somewhat and will become partly to mostly cloudy by the afternoon hours. Highs will top out in the lower 50s to the lower 70s across the area from northwest to southeast. We'll stay dry through the evening and into the late night hours, but showers come back just after midnight over the northern half of the area. Lows will be in the mid 40s to the upper 50s from northwest to southeast. We'll have another impulse move through the area on Sunday as a low will be passing by to our north. Showers will be likely and maybe a few embedded thunderstorms are possible throughout the area, but no strong or severe storms are expected. Highs will be in the mid-60s to the upper 70s from north to south across the area. Showers will move out of the area during the, Monday, during the morning on Monday and will get a small break from the rain until the evening and overnight hours. Showers will start developing out ahead of the next impulse, bringing a good chance of rain to central Alabama starting around midnight. Highs will be in the mid-50s to the mid-60s across the area from northwest to southeast. The rain builds across the southeast as troughing to our west mixes with the stalled boundary that will actually start moving northward through the area on Tuesday. It will be a very wet day with rain likely throughout central Alabama. Rainfall amounts look to be around one quarter inch in the southeastern corner of the area to as high as two and a half inches in the northwestern parts. Highs will be in the lower 50s to the lower 60s. Wednesday's story is not much different. Rain continues throughout central Alabama with some heavier rains falling over the north and northwestern parts of the state. Rainfall amounts for Wednesday is projected to be in the one quarter inch in the southeastern parts to as high as two and a half inches in the northern parts of central Alabama. With the boundary now over the northern parts of the state, we could have some embedded thunder, but no severe weather is expected at this time. Highs will be in the mid 60s to the mid 70s across the area from north to south. Rain continues across the area on Thursday, but the good news is that the latest run is showing a little less in coverage, with rain chances throughout the area only topping out in the 50 to 60 percent range. As for now, totals are projected to be less than one inch across central Alabama, which is much better news than what I have been seeing over the past few days. Highs will be in the upper 50s to the lower 70s across the area from northwest to southeast. We'll continue to have a chance of rain across the area on Friday, but the coverage continues to lessen. Rain chances will only be around 40% across the area throughout the day, 
and totals are projected to be at one inch or under. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. Even though the projected rainfall totals for the next seven days have come down some, we still have the risk of some flooding issues, especially in flood prone areas. If you are located in or near one of these areas, go ahead and be prepared for the potential of flash flooding as rainfall will not be leaving central Alabama until the late afternoon hours on next Sunday, February 24th. That is all for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out tomorrow morning, produced by Bill Murray. I'm Scott Martin, signing off for today. Have a great day, and God bless.